say sports show and uh, you're an old athlete yourself, I love athletics, mate. You know, I know you're in athletics. You, you were a former champion. Well, different triple, age groups. Yeah. Um, well, sort of, yeah, it was, it was one of those jump, things I had to decide between football and, and athletics, but yeah. I, loved, I loved athletics. The, yeah. the, the triple jump. Yeah, you held a record. I held for an under sixteen record for twenty one years. Twenty one years. years in a triple jump. Yeah, they didn't now, do it. <laughs> but there was a little bit of controversy over that, wasn't there? In the end. Well, there was a little bit because uh, he didn't get it on the Saturday uh, on competition, but his yeah. birthday was on the Wednesday, so they uh, they opened up a little event for him on the thing on the Monday or Tuesday, and he got it by a couple of centimeters. A special in the event end. for him. Yeah, a little special so event. So he knocked but, you uh, off. He knocked me off. Oh, he knocked me off. Well, yeah. well, we're about to talk to one and of them. Forgive him, no. Yeah, you don't hold a grudge, mate. Only twenty one years. But uh, we're about to talk to one of the uh, superstars, or up-and-coming oh, superstars superstar. of uh, South Australian and Australian Athletics. Charlotte McAuliffe has joined us. Hello, Charlotte. Hello. Nice to see you. Well, uh, congratulations, first of all, because we, you've just returned from Trinidad and Tobago, or yep. Trinbago, they call it now. And For the Commonwealth Youth Games. Commonwealth Youth Games. Yeah. You've, you've, and you had an amazing meet. It was such a good experience going over and competing, just like immersing myself with the other athletes and then also getting to compete against them. Um, it was really great. Yeah. And going into the final of the 400, how did you feel you were, you were, you were sort of sitting? Because it was uh, an incredible race. Yeah, yeah, I knew that like I was up there in the ranks and yeah. I was very nervous going in. And um, yeah, I think just the lack of exper um, racing experience okay. going into that, because it's my first race for a couple of months, kind of got to me. But I was really happy with how I raced. Well, you yeah. should be. If I'd have finished yeah. fourth. That's so, right. So, yeah, yeah. And what is it, point oh, 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 seven, oh, seven. A yeah, yeah. Could Charlotte, miss out on the bronze medal. <laughs> what are you doing at yeah. point oh seven? I know. Go, 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 <laughs> go. But like you said, the, the experience in that, racing against uh, other competitors from all around the world, you know, it's got to be a bit of a nervy experience. OK, this is the first time I've done this. How am I going to go against these people? Am I going to run last here? All those things must go through your yeah, mind. Yeah, it was just, yeah, I've never experienced like something like that before. Like it was definitely very nerve wracking, but a lot to take away from it. It was oh, like a great experience and yeah. I've learned a lot about like myself through yeah. running that and yeah. You had some fantastic form going to the uh, the Youth Commonwealth Games You're, uh, at the Australian Championships back in April, mm. uh, winning the under 18s uh, gold medal, mm -hmm. uh, fantastic. And then you thought, you know what? I'll go for the under 20s as well, and why don't we win that one as well? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, that is a fence. Yeah. That's a great Thank fantastic you. effort. Yeah. 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 yeah, I kind of went over to under 20s. I was pretty much, I was just trying to chase qualifiers for Youth Commonwealth Games, and I ran a really big PB, and then, you know, from there I went on and I won that race, which was very surprising. Um, and then two weeks later, I went back and ran under 18s, and I won that one as well. So it was a great way to end my season. Now, I've got to ask this question because you, you, nobody just gets up in the morning and says, well, I'm now a 400-metre runner. Tough event. It's a tough it's definitely event. definitely a tough it's event, a yeah. very, very tough event. So has this been a gradual build? Did, did you start... Uh, Tell us how you started in athletics. Definitely, Does it want to be yeah. other sports that you've played? Um, well, I started running uh, athletics in about year four. I mm. sort of like took it up in my old school. I ran on sports day and I really enjoyed it. So got a coach from there. And um, I've been playing other sports in the background, like touch and also um, AFL, but I've given them up like, yeah. to focus on athletics. So you should. But yeah. I've always done 400s, but it's sort of not really been my main event until this season. At um, All Schools and Nationals in December, I ran a really big PV. Yeah. I really surprised myself, and that was a Youth Commonwealth Games qualifier. So from there, for this season, I've kind of just taken the 400s from there and really focused on it, and yeah, I've really enjoyed running them. Wow. Which must have been fantastic <laughs> as well, and, and great respect for you as an athlete to, mm. to be part of the, the mixed uh, race at the Commonwealth Youth. Yes. Uh, and you got a bronze medal, which was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, the bronze was so good, especially as a few of us in that team had just been pipped, like in our individual events. So it was yeah. really great to come together and get that bronze medal. It was so great. That, that's a new event, well, to me anyway. I've, I've not seen a lot of 4 by one or 4 by 400 mixed. Is this, yeah. is this something that is it's new? It's something is they're it? sort of trying to bring in. Like, they ran it at the World Champs. Um, it's definitely become a lot bigger. Yeah. Um, you used to be able to pick your um, relay order in the mm. four by mix four by four, which was really interesting to see because like you'd have girls running against boys, but now they've got like a set order. It's actually really fun to run. Like it, yeah. I really like it. Would it. Be fun. I, I yeah, think it they would had be fun. it in the last Commonwealth uh, Olympics, though. Uh, yeah, and they did. Of course, did. they had it just recently in the, okay. in the, the World Championships, which was yeah. you know fa and fantastic. I mean, when you you know it's so even. You know, we always know the relays are so even, but for some reason the mixed. Yeah. It was so even, yeah. and uh, mm. uh, and that you know certainly showed in I the, the, the world championships. I watched six days of world championships <laughs> really? athletics. Oh, <laughs> I just love athletics. Yeah, oh, well, so what great, a great sport. Yeah. Okay, so, now uh, the season for athletics here now starts very very 
soon, so not a big break. So what do you do? I think it's October 14. Yeah. What do you do in the break now? You've had you've come back from that great experience, and your season doesn't start until the 14th of October. What have you been doing? Yeah, so I came back from Youth Commonwealth Games and I took about a week off because it's just to have a break um, mm. coming back to Australia. And from there, I've sort of just gone back into like pre-season, trying to like, you know, build up my strength and that um, coming into the new season, which, yeah, starting on October 14th. I'm really excited for that. How old are you, Charlotte? I'm 16. Oh, wow. Oh, fantastic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're, we're probably over, uh, over skipped a question that... You know, we, we get to see the you know the, the lead athletes and the representing Australia, and we've we've seen the, the women's uh, Matildas and the, the soccer. What was it like? I mean, you've just you just mm. done the green and gold. You, you're not representing your school, St Peter's Girls or South Australia. You know, you're representing Australia. Uh, that must be just a huge thrill. What a, it was know. such yeah, it was such a great experience. Like nothing mm. I've ever experienced before. And um, yeah, I was just really proud to be representing my country. Mm. And then I was with there with like other people from other states and I made lots of like great friends from like people from like New South Wales and it was so great to like Bingo. meet other people yeah. from Australia but then also meet other people from like around the world like yeah. Europe and like those countries and it was just really really great experience. Do you wear your Australian polo shirt down the supermarket? <laughs> <laughs> no I don't but... <laughs> you don't. I'll Maybe I should, it. yeah. I'd be wearing well, well, a track suit. Yeah, 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 wear my hoodie, track, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll put a trackie on, for sure, for sure. <laughs> so what are your dreams here now, Charlotte? You've, you've started, you're 16 years old, you've started unbelievably mm. as an athlete. What, what, what are your dreams and aspirations now? Um, well, like, one of my biggest dreams, I guess, would be to go to the Olympics, mm. but... Just for this season, I'd love to start, like, I'd love to get PBs, like, maybe go sub-53 in my 400. Um, I'd also love to take up, like, get back into 200s. I didn't really get a lot of chance to run the, many of them last season. Yeah. Um, I'd love to go to World Juniors next year, but there's some stiff competition around Australia, so I'm just going to have to put in the hard work and see how we go. So the speed yeah. is a big part of your race. Mm. So, so you know, going from twos to four, mm. um, and you might go back to twos. Yeah. yeah. I've always done, like, the two and the four as, like, both events, and then each season it sort of changes as to which mm. one I'm, like, more focused on, which one I'm better at, so I'll be interested to see how that goes this season. So you won't jump to eights? <laughs> Definitely not jump to eights, no. Just the one coach? Uh, yeah, Nick Hadjikos, this is my coach, and yeah. um, he's really great, and he's supported me so much throughout my athletics career so far. So, so he was my coach. Right now, really? Charlotte. Nick Hadjikos was my coach as well back when I was when I was running. <laughs> and well, I just you know we <laughs> we're yeah, athletes. We, we, love, we love athletics. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, no, I'm taking a break. Yeah, <laughs> you've, you've thrown me now. <laughs> I, didn't, I forgot the question I was going to ask now because it was Ando's question. Uh, where do you rate? Where do you sit in the mix? You're 16 years old. Where do you sit in the mix? in the junior comps in Australia now? Where, where, where are you ranked? Um, well, currently I'm ranked number one for under 18s and I'm ranked number two for under 20s within Australia. And that was coming off last season, so it will be interesting to see what happens to the rankings coming into this new oh, okay. season. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. So you're looking for a big year now, you know, if it can get any bigger. Mm. You know, it's pretty exciting <laughs> representing <laughs> Australia, yeah. yeah. From October 14, it's all bang, here we go yep. again. Yeah, yeah. There must be a lot of sacrifices here too, Charlotte. I mean, you can't go out and, you know, party or you yeah. can but you know then you'd be running last <laughs> but there's a lot of sacrifices in this game isn't there yeah they definitely have had to make quite a few sacrifices so mm. far but I mean like that's just what you have to do like you've got to prioritize and obviously I, I really enjoy my athletics and mm. I really want to do the best I can so occasionally you've got to sacrifice a few things yep. that you'd like to go to but like that's just how it is and so when is the, the world junior games uh world juniors is August next year, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Well, that's just around the corner. Well, it's not really mm. far away, is no. it? No, it's You've not. You've got a lot to yeah. plan for. And a lot to look forward to as well. I mean, yeah, like yeah. now you've had a, a little sniff of it. Now you've had a little taste of that international uh, competition. Uh, you'd be looking forward to getting back into it again. Yeah. yeah, I would really, really love to go to World Juniors again. because. Where I just, are they? Uh, Columbia. Columbia. Oh. Yeah. Wait, no, sorry, it's in Peru. Yeah. Sorry, not oh, that was last year. <laughs> um, Adelaide Winter, or and, and, well, while we were in Adelaide Winter, you are in uh, yeah, Trinidad or uh, Tobago, yeah. so yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was definitely a shock going from like 14 degrees in Adelaide to 30 degrees in Trinidad, but yeah. it was really great. So how long did you have to prepare? When you go over to Trinidad and Tobago, when you get over there, how long have you got before you actually get out on the track? Yeah, so we went about a week beforehand. So yeah. 
I think we arrived in on like the Sunday night and I competed the following Monday. So it gave us about a week to get back on our sleep schedules, get used okay. to the heat, get yeah. training, get used to the track. Yeah. And that was really great to go over there and sort of get a week to like get used to the climate because like, yeah, yeah if I had like, we'd had only four days, I would definitely not have run as well as I well, could have. And what about support? I mean, you, you obviously would be in the South Australian Institute of Sport uh, and your next step is the Australian Institute of Sport or you've, uh, is are you, or you're part of that now as well? Oh, no, not part of the um, Australian Institute of Sport, but I've had a lot of support from Athletic South Australia. Yeah, of course, like, you, yeah. It's been really great, and, um, yeah, looking forward to the season starting. Yeah. Well, Charlotte, congratulations on what you've done so far. We Thank look you. Forward, and we will follow you. Don't worry about that. The sport show does <laughs> and wear that. that tracksuit around, too. Oh, I, I want to see you in your tracksuit. <laughs> yeah. track yeah. track yeah. Bring your Australian track Might have to. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you come in, bring your Australian tracksuit, right. and we'll have a look at that. <laughs> congratulations on what you've done so far. Good luck in, in the future. Good luck from October 14 on, because... Sounds like you've got a fair bit of work to do, but uh, yeah. uh, you sound just like the type of person that doesn't mind the work. Anyway, uh, one of the up-and-coming stars of South Australian and Australian athletics, one to keep an eye on. Back with more in just a moment.